Hello everyone, I hope you are all having a beautiful day. My name is Dorotea, I am crochet designer and blogger. I make crochet tutorials, talk about yarn and I share tips and tricks for crocheters. So if you are new to my channel and you like crocheting, please consider subscribing and turning on post notifications. That's the little bell next to the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future videos. Today I'm going to share with you a simple tutorial on how to crochet a baby bonnet. I will show you all the important steps here but I would recommend you visit my my blog too and check the written instructions there as well. For those who prefer to work offline or if you would like to have instructions for one additional size, there is a PDF pattern available in my Etsy, Reverly and Love Crochet store, the link is in the description box below. I would just like to quickly mention that I have more patterns similar to this one available on my blog and following them you can create a perfect baby shower gift or something beautiful for your own child. This is a tutorial for 0 to 6 months size and you can find the 6 to 12 months size for the baby bonnet in the PDF file. Now let me show you what you will need for this tutorial. For this pattern you will need one ball of iron weight yarn, I will be using 100% cotton yarn from Rico Design, Rico Creative Cotton Design in shades Nature, that's number 60. Then you will need 4mm or G6 crochet hook, also scissors, stitch markers, yarn needle and a small amount of DK weight yarn. I will be using paint box yarns cotton DK yarn in shades wash teal, daffodil yellow and bright peach. Now let's start with the pattern. Take some iron weight yarn and create a foundation chain made of 52 chains. Start with a slip knot. Insert the hook into the loop, pull the yarn tail and close the loop. Now start with chains, yarn over and pull the loop through. Now that you have all 52 chains or as many chains as you need, create one additional chain that will represent our turning chain. Start in the second chain from the hook and work one half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. So yarn over first, insert the hook into the chain, yarn over, pull the loop through. Continue with the half double crochet stitches all the way to the end of the row. Create a turning chain, so chain 1 in this case and turn the row. Work one half double crochet into each of next 52 stitches, then repeat row 2, so chain 1, turn the row and work one half double crochet into each of next 52, two more times. You can pause the video here, finish all the rows and then I will show you what to do next. We are now at the end of row 4, finish last few stitches. Create a turning chain which is from now on made of 2 chains, then turn the row and work 1 double crochet into each stitch all the way across. Yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull the yarn through. Now you have 3 loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull the loop through first two. Then yarn over again and pull the yarn through all the loops on your crochet hook. And that's double crochet stitch. Insert the stitch marker into the first stitch of the row. Continue with the double crochet stitches all the way to the end of the row.
create your turning chain, so chain 2 and then turn the row. Work one double crochet into each of next 52 stitches and repeat this row 5 more times. So chain 2, turn and then work one double crochet into each of 52 stitches. At the end you have to have 7 rows of double crochet stitches in total. Now secure the last stitch and cut the yarn. This is how your first part of the main panel should be looking. You have 4 rows of half double crochet stitches and on top of that 7 rows of double crochet stitches and that's 11 rows altogether. Now turn your work, the part with the yarn tail has to be on your right. Take two stitch markers and mark 14 stitches right in the center of our first panel. Grab your 4mm crochet hook and iron weight yarn. Join the yarn in the stitched mark with the stitch marker that is on your right side chain 2 and start in the same stitch. Join first two with a double crochet 2 together stitch. Then work one double crochet into each of next 12 stitches. You can see I'm crocheting around the yarn tail, so you can do that as well, or you can hide it between the stitches later. Now finish the row with double crochet 2 together stitch. Chain 2 and turn your work. Join first two with a double crochet two together stitch, then work one double crochet into each of next 10 stitches and join last two with a double crochet two together stitch.
chain two, then turn the row. Double crochet two together stitch to join first two. Work one double crochet into each of next eight stitches and finish the row with double crochet two together stitch. Chain 2 and turn your row. Join first 2 with a double crochet 2 together stitch, then work 1 double crochet into each of next 6 stitches. Join last 2 with a double crochet 2 together stitch. Chain 2 and turn your row. Work 1 double crochet into each of next 8 stitches. Chain 2, then turn the row. Join first two with a double crochet two together stitch, work one double crochet into each of next four stitches, then join last two with double crochet two together stitch.
chain 2 and turn the row, work 1 double crochet into each of next 6 stitches Secure the last stitch, cut the yarn, leave a long tail for sewing and pull the yarn tail through your last stitch. Now if you were following all the steps correctly, you should now have two long yarn tails, one at the end of part 1 and one at the end of part 2 and each of those two yarn ends has to be on a different side, so if you didn't turn your work now at the end, the yarn tail at the end of part 2 should be on your left side and the yarn tail at the end of part 1 should be on your right side. We will use those two yarn tails in just a second, but before we do that we are going to crochet three lines of slip stitches and those lines will be on the front side of the bonnet. This is how your work should look like for now. Do you remember those four rows of half double crochet stitches from the beginning of the tutorial? We are going to create three lines of slip stitches between those rows. We will start with the orange yarn, so this is the part where you will need DK weight yarn. The first line of slip stitches will be made between the foundation chain and your first row of half double crochet stitches. Then we will skip two rows, we will take a small amount of yellow yarn and we will create a row of slip stitches between rows 2 and 3. Our last row of slip stitches will be made with blue yarn and that's going to be between our last row of half double crochet stitches and our first row of double crochet stitches, so between rows 4 and 5.
This is now how it should be looking, the front part with 3 lines of slip stitches and the back of the bonnet with a bunch of double crochet to together stitches. Now we are going to use those long yarn tails and join front and back part of the bonnet together. Please make sure you are sewing on the inner side of the bonnet, you will recognize the inner side by the lines of slip stitches which has only one loop. The side with two loops should be on the outer side of the bonnet, but if you prefer to have it other way around it's totally fine too. Now take the yarn needle, thread the yarn tail, line up part 1 and part 2 and start sewing. I'm using a blanket stitch but you can use any sewing stitch or technique you like as long as the parts are nicely secured and sewn together. Repeat all the steps on the other side too. Turn the bonnet right side out. And then we will continue with the final segment, so the straps. and your 4mm crochet hook, create a slip knot and a foundation chain made of 45 chains. Now take the bonnet and work single crochet stitches evenly around the bottom of the bonnet, work one single crochet into each row of half double crochet stitches, work two single crochet stitches into each row of double crochet stitches and work one single crochet into each double crochet that is in the back of the bonnet. That should give you 44 stitches in total. Because we need 2 straps we will now continue with chains, so make 45 chains plus 1 turning chain. Turn and work 1 slip stitch into each chain and 1 single crochet into each single crochet from the row below. So 1 slip stitch into first 45, single crochet into next 44 and again slip stitch into last 45.
Then secure the last stitch, pull the yarn through and hide the yarn tails between the stitches. And your adorable crochet baby bonnet is now complete. Okay guys, that would be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please turn on post notifications. You can do that by clicking on the little bell next to the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future videos. Visit my blog for more crochet patterns and creative ideas. Please share your creations using my crochet patterns on Instagram using hashtag Kruby patterns. I always love to see how talented you all are. And of course, thank you so much to all of you who are buying my crochet patterns and support my work. It really means a lot. Have a beautiful day and until next time, bye!